to the channel and in the previous video I mentioned that we're going to start doing work on my brother's X3. I did get rid of my side by side. I kind of wanted to change the channel over to start doing some car videos and stuff. And I'm still currently working on that, trying to get a, get me a pretty awesome car to put on the channel so we can work on it. And for all the side by side guys, I'm going to keep putting some side by side content out. That way I still kind of have both types of content on the channel. So with that being said, today I got something super awesome to install. And that is this RPM Power Sports full 3 inch exhaust. That I'll kind of give you a closer up view of new full 3 inch exhaust that's from RPM Power Sport. Guys, this thing is awesome. So it's full 3 inch stainless exhaust so you got a uh, uh, internally baffled muffler that comes out you use your factory tip you can use factory rear fascia you do have a factory silencer that you can add on it goes right in here basically guys let me try to hold this up here uh, so it's going to go together like this and you're going to have a full three inch exhaust from your turbo Back. The weight on this exhaust, it's not too bad. It's uh, around 18 pounds for both pipes. So guys, in your mid pipe here, of course, you're gonna be deleting the cat. And also you have two O2 sense reports. So for you guys that race or whatever, if you need another O2 sense report, we got two. But guys, I think this thing's gonna sound super good. The thing I already see that I like about it most is it gets rid of them factory exhaust springs and you just put a clamp right here. And to me, from putting on five or six exhausts, them springs are, they're kind of aggravating. So right off the bat, I see that I already like that idea by using the, uh, the heavy duty clamp that RPM provides. Also, for you guys wondering, there is no tune required for this, but as always, if you're removing your cat or anything like that, I mean, of course, it's gonna make your ride run a little bit different. So if you wanted to get it tuned, uh, it's totally up to you, but it's not required. But guys, just seeing this pipe in person and seeing that, that three inch pipe all the way throughout, I mean, it just looks super awesome. And I really think it's gonna give it a nice uh, deep tone. But later on in the video, once we get it installed, we'll do a couple uh, sound clips and uh, I'll try to give you guys a good idea of what this exhaust sounds like. Cause I know it's fairly new to the market and I'm not sure how many videos out there of uh, sound clips that you'll have. But guys, if you're interested in this exhaust, you can get the full exhaust on rpmsidebyside.com for $8.79. That includes the mid pipe and the muffler, which for this full three inch exhaust, I think it's a super deal. But if you use code Norman at checkout, then you'll save 5% on top of that. Guys, be sure if you head over to RPM side by side to pick you one of these up, make sure you use my code. It helps me out and it allows me to make more content for you guys. Also too, guys, if you haven't yet, uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Turn your post notifications on so you don't miss out on anything. I do have some super awesome stuff coming to the channel and I'm almost at a thousand. So I really appreciate it if you guys help me out. Just hit that subscribe button. But if you guys are here for the install, we'll go ahead and see what tools we need to get this installed. And if you want to hear what it sounds like, that'll be more towards the end of the video. So with that being said, guys, Let's go ahead and get this thing installed. All right, guys. The tools that you're going to need for this video is a crescent wrench. That's to take your O2 sense report off. You're going to need a couple 13 millimeter wrenches. If you have one, you'll need an impact, a couple extensions, a swivel with a 13 millimeter socket. That's to take your. There's a mo uh, there's a bolt back at the muffler that uh, you have to have the swivel for. You'll need a 11 millimeter wrench. And if your V-band clamp's kind of hard to get off after you loosen the bolt, you'll need a one-way screwdriver to uh, kind of pry that clamp off. That's all the tools you'll need, guys. We'll go ahead and get this thing put on. All right, guys, first step I like to start with is removing this rear valance. It gets that out of the way. It takes five T30 Torx bit. We might end up leaving this off. It depends on what my brother wants to do. I think it looks better without it, but with this exhaust, you can still use your factory valance. So we'll go ahead and get this off. Next step here, guys, we're gonna go ahead and remove these springs before we loosen up the exhaust. Make sure 
that you pick up this spring tool from RPM side by side as well. It will make your life a lot easier. Uh, these springs are very hard to get off. So go ahead and pick you up one of these because you'll definitely need it. Next step here, guys, we're going to remove our muffler. You remove these. Uh, you got two half inch bolts right here, and then you got two half inch bolts on the uh, opposite side. So we'll go ahead and get those removed. All right, guys, should be able to go ahead and just remove the muffler and make sure when you take the bolts out that. Uh, you keep the right bolts on the side. This side will have the longer bolts. This side will have shorter bolts. So when you put that back, make sure that you got the boat on the right side. All right, guys, now that we got the muffler off, we'll go ahead and take our V-band clamp off the turbo and uh, get our mid-pipe off. Just for uh, a little tip, guys, on your V-band clamp, I always take the nut all the way off because it just seems like it's easier to get the clamp off when you don't have that nut on there so you can stretch it around the pipe more. And also make sure you unplug your O2 sensor port before you take your mid-pipe off. So we should be able to pull our mid-pipe out. Make sure too, guys, when you're pulling this mid-pipe off that you get your uh, exhaust gasket off of the turbo as you don't want to lose that or you have an exhaust leak. A lot of times too, guys, these the V-band clamps get kind of stuck on there and you have to pry them off uh, just where it gets hot. You can always use some uh, PB Blaster or uh, WD-40. Kind of spray on it, maybe 30 minutes before you take it off would help get your V-band clamp off. Right here guys is your uh, exhaust gasket that you, you got to make sure that you get that and to put on the new exhaust or you'll have an exhaust leak. And to get that pipe out the easiest way it's best to twist it right here just twist it straight down and pull it out. I know it looked kind of simple taking it out, but I've took quite a few of these out. That's just the best way I found to do it. So guys, this was the old pipe that he was running. This is the RPM uh, Big Mouth Cat Delete. This is still a super good pipe, guys. He just wanted to upgrade to full exhaust. I'll get the other pipe and show you a difference in the three inch and the uh, two. You can see right there, guys, how much bigger this is than the uh, two inch. So I think that this being a rounder pipe is going to give it a much deeper sound. Kind of excited to hear what it's going to sound like. We'll go ahead and start putting this one back on. Our first step to put this one back on, we're going to go ahead and take our uh, O2 sensor port out and put it in our uh, new mid pipe. All right, guys, we got our O2 sensor port in and we'll go ahead and put our new mid pipe on. All right, guys, your new clamp that you're gonna put up on uh, your turbo. This is RPM's heavy duty clamp. This thing is a lot more durable than your stock V-band clamp. I really like these uh, style clamp. And this is what we're gonna use right here to put our muffler on too. So that gets rid of them springs uh, like I was talking about. So to me, I think this is an awesome setup here. Also too, guys, another thing that you have to do, change out your exhaust bracket and uh, RPM includes one of those. Went ahead and changed this one out. I tried to film it, but it was just in a tight spot. So I couldn't really get the camera in there to show you guys, but it's just like two boats. You just switch one bracket out for the other. Uh, nothing nothing too hard. We got the mid pipe bolted up and we'll go ahead and get our muffler bolted up and we should be done And we'll go ahead and fire it up. See what it sounds like. All right guys We'll go ahead and use our bolts that we took out of our factory muffler and we'll go ahead and put the uh, new RPM port muffler on 
One other thing too, guys, uh, you want to get your mid pipe snug, but you don't want to tighten it all the way down. That way you can maneuver your pipes to get them to line up. We'll go ahead and just stick the bolts in this so we can get our uh, pipe lined up. So right here, guys, where these pipes meet up, this is what I was talking about. You'll be using one of these instead of putting the uh, factory springs back on, which I love this setup so much better because them springs can be a real pain uh, to get on and off. So this clamp's a lot easier to slide on. So we'll go ahead and throw this on and then we'll finish tightening down our exhaust. guys we got our mid pipe and muffler connected we'll go ahead and finish tightening the muffler up finish tightening the clamps up on our mid pipe and we should be able to fire this thing up see what it sounds like all right guys we got everything tightened down and bolted up and I think this thing looks way better than the stock exhaust. It was uh, kind of simple to install. It'd probably help if you had two people to do it. Some of the clamps was a little bit hard to get on with one person, but I mean, I managed to do it, but if you had extra hands, it would help. But this thing looks super awesome, and let's see what it sounds like. This thing sounds super awesome. I like the deep sport sound that it has. We'll do a couple shots driving by and uh, see what it sounds like. I didn't put the uh, uh, silencer in, but I think that the way it comes out of the box that it sounds perfect. So we'll do a couple drive-by shots and see what you think.
look at his machine here. Uh, he's got the Rockzillas on it, whip lights, uh, uh, extra spare. Uh, this is what I really like right here. He's got the Can Am audio roof. It looks really good. Go ahead and hop in here, and I'll let you guys hear it from what it sounds like inside. All right, guys. This is from inside the cab. From my experience with exhaust, this thing, it kind of has that perfect tone to it to where it's not overly loud, uh, where you couldn't uh, talk to somebody while you're driving, uh, but it still has a good sound to it. sounds super awesome it looks awesome and uh, be sure if you want to get you one to go to rpmsidebyside.com and use code norman at checkout and you save five percent guys so i put quite a few exhaust on on my machine and guys i would rate this one up there on one of the top exhausts that i put on i really like the sound of it and it's not so loud that you can't talk to anybody while you're driving or uh that it's overly obnoxious or anything just kind of let me know uh, what you guys think about it down in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think about having my brother side by side on the channel working on it and then me switching over into doing some car videos and stuff like that. Originally what I wanted to do with my channel so I figured why not try to do both. That way we get some off-road content and then we'll get some on-road content. I'm still looking for a car right now guys. Um, I'm either going to buy something that, that's used that's pretty cool or I'm gonna buy something off the auction site and we're gonna rebuild it on the channel. It's something I really been wanting to do. Guys, just make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on anything. Try to help me get over a thousand subscribers. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at It's Cameron Norman. I usually post updates and stuff on there uh, before YouTube. Kinda of see what's going on or what's coming to the channel. But with all that being said, guys, I appreciate the love and support. And just let me know what you think down in the comments below. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.